Hey there, my name's David. On this episode, I'll be doing a review of this, which is the Osprey Camber 42 backpack. And unlike most YouTubers, I'm reviewing it after extensive use of the backpack and not fresh out of the box. So this backpack, as you can see, it still has gear on it. And I'll be taking it off, but I just left it on here just so you can see how I'm using it. So last trip I did, I had an ice axe on here. There's two ice axe loops here. I loop it through and then I actually use the back, the uh, snowboarding thing to hold it in. But let's just take that off. So a full overview of this backpack. Um, I use this in the summer. I use this in the winter. I'll go through all the pros and cons of this backpack. So first off, the backpack is red. That's why the reason, reason I bought it. I wanted one that shows up really well on camera. They do have other colors like black. But um, so the pros and cons of this bag. Well, first off, it's really well built, like exceptionally well built. The handle alone on this thing on the back here, this handle is so strong, like, I don't even think you could cut this with scissors. Now, a downside to this backpack being uh, so well constructed is it's pretty heavy. Like it's four, I think 4.2 pounds, something like that. So it's on the heavier side of a backpack, but it is like a ski tour bag. So I use this in the summer and surprisingly, it's not that bad for the heat because it has this arch in the back. You can see here, it has a built-in arch. So the heat does stay off your, your back. Now that's also a downside. So it is a positive, it keeps the heat off. And this also uh, deflects all the snow off and the snow doesn't pile on here, which is great when you use it in the winter. But a downside is in the inside, the the pack itself, it's like, cause that, that arch, the whole thing is arched. So if you have things that are square, you wanna fit in there that are kind of on the bigger side, it makes it a little bit difficult. I mean, for me, it's mostly like camera gear. I got boxes and stuff that are square that fit in there. So I do have to kind of shimmy them in at a certain angle or whatever, but generally for most hikers and backpackers, it's really not an issue because you know, you got a tent and this and that, and they're all modular pieces that stick in. So this bag has a lot of different straps, a lot of different uh, pockets. So one of my favorites is the top here. You can see it has two pockets on the top. It actually technically, technically has three. It's got a secret one here. You can put a helmet on top here and uh, we'll just pull that out really quick. It has one of these bits that straps over your helmet and then it hooks onto these straps here. So uh, if you wanna reduce the weight of it, you don't have to carry this around. If you're you know, not planning on using a helmet. I used this when I did the Tower of Babel in uh, above Moraine Lake, which you can see here. So my favorite pocket, once again, I was saying here is this one. This one is soft. It's meant for, I think, sunglasses or stuff like that. I don't know. For me, uh, shooting video in the, in the woods and stuff, being an adventure filmmaker, this is amazing to me because I can put cameras in here and even if I forget the, the lens cap or I lose a lens cap, I can put it in here. I know it won't get scratched. So I'm a big fan of that. And it's actually a pretty good size. I can, I can fit like pretty decent sized cameras in there or lenses for sure. Uh, above that is this huge pocket, which usually absorbs everything, whether it's a Garmin, phones, you know, GPS, um, food. Usually I put even my gloves. Anything I need quick access to is right there. Now underneath, you can, you can also detach this whole top section if you don't want to take it with you. And it does have a secondary hood that goes over top. And these, this buckles uses the exact same buckle system. See these just pop out and this just hooks in right to the, the same. So if you don't want to take the, the, the brain of it, I think that's what they usually call those, the brain, you don't have to, but, um, it also has a, uh, middle strap here for, if you want to take this rock climbing, or if you want to bring ropes or whatever, you can just hook that into the, the buckle here and then, you know, lay a rope across all that kind of jazz. The front of the bag, um, as I mentioned earlier, it has this here, which is the snowboard strap. Snowboard can go in there. You can also do an angled ski, um, you know, strap in. You can also use the sides. So you can put your skis in here if you're ski touring on the sides and have the sideways mount. I, I usually put my hiking poles in there or I put my skis in there. And um, it depends, you know, on the season. Now for the pockets, it has obviously the big main pocket here, which has a really nice cinch too. I really like this cinch here. So this thing, when you pull it, it cinches down nice and tight and really easily. Then you can just grab this little tab and just pull it. You don't, there's no, there's no two handed thing. So you can do a lot of stuff. I'm pretty sure they designed this bag in mind with um, doing it with gloves on. So everything has these nice big, you know, tassels and stuff to, to grab onto. You can grab with mitts, you know, take your hands out of your gloves. And this is one of those things. So you need to get in there. So inside there's a bladder uh, pouch. And there's also like this, this little secondary, secondary pouch here 
And inside here is a uh, key, you know, a little key hook. So that's always where I put my keys and you can zip your stuff up. And then above that is this um, bladder pouch. Now bladder pouch actually has a little hook too, a little um, clip on it to keep the water upright so it doesn't smush down. So it keeps it kind of relatively like a nice shape on your back. Something to note with that, as you can see here, I have my water hose sticking out of the zipper. So I actually, um, right above the, the load lifters. So you'll notice here, to, to unzip this bag has rear entry and it has top entry. So you can do either or. So I'll just do that here and zip this down. So you can do rear entry. This is great for photographers or videographers because you can get to the bottom of your bag if you have like a drone down there or something. And um, you can see this pouch here. So it's all good. And then, but yeah, the, the water bag, you can use this just as a pouch if you want, but if you want to store your water in there, it's, it does have like, it feels like some sort of um, ripstop or something in here that's that's probably somewhat waterproof-ish. Uh, I've never had water leak in here, so I'm not too sure if it seeps through or not. But the reason why I don't, so there's a hole here and you can you can run it through the uh, the right side, your right shoulder of your backpack. And this is insulated, so your water won't freeze when you're you know, ski touring or anything like that. It's, yeah, I mean, that's mainly designed for ski touring. So if, you know, you don't, it doesn't really matter in the summer as much. The reason why I don't use that, cause I haven't had a problem with my water freezing first off. And I actually like to keep, I just run it out of the, you know, as I had it before when it was zipped up, I just, I just zip it up right underneath the, uh, you just zip this up here. So there's load lifters here that you attach and that's one, that's a downside of this bag. If you want to get into the rear entry, you, I mean, you can kind of shimmy on the sides, but you have to undo the load lifters to get in there. But I just keep my bag zipped up like this. And I just have the hose sticking out right in the corner there. And the reason for that is because this, this um, whole pocket that's for the hose is such a fantastic, useful pocket that I use it. Let me show you here, open this up. So I keep flashes and bear bangers in here and they whistle. So I've got my, my bear banger um, launcher and then I've got a flash, a banger, another flash. And at the very bottom, I have a emergency whistle, which is really, really loud. And I find if I just space these out nicely like this and zip it up, it stays all perfectly in there. I don't feel it in there. And I always know I have that emergency thing there. Uh, just in case, you know, I see a pack of wolves or a bear that doesn't, you know, he's, he's not turning around. He's not going away from me. And I got, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 seconds where I can like, okay, pop that thing out. It's right there. I don't have to fiddle with it. I'm not, you know, like digging in my, my bag or something. It's just right there. Pop it out, you know, in 20 seconds, I can have that thing ready, launch it off and I'm good to go. So I feel more comfortable having that there. That's just, I don't use the hose there, but it is there. If you want to use it, the uh, shoulder straps here, they have the adjustable chest strap. You can move this all the way up and down. You obviously can adjust all this other stuff. Um, you can see it's been, there's a lot of, you know, wear and tear on it. Like it's dirty and like, you know, I've dragged this through the mud and rocks and all like, I mean, you can see all the, all the videos I film this, it's this bag. I've used it so much and it's not fraying at all. It's not, there's no tears. There's no holes. I'm actually amazed on how well built this thing is, which comes with a downside. As I mentioned, it's a little bit heavy. It's 4.2 pounds. It's not, it's not the lightest bag out there. This is not an ultra light bag. It's winning no awards for that, but it is really well built. I'm quite impressed with it in that aspect. Um, so if we go to, and you also notice too, there's a hole down here too. So if you do get water in your bag, it will drain out of this hole, which is nice. Now, if we go to the front, um, aside from, you know, strapping stuff on the front and all these different hooks and stuff for your, you know, snowboards, your snowboard skis, all that kind of stuff. There is a pouch on the front here. This pouch has uh, quite a bit of space in it, actually. And it has a, 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 a double pocket here if you want to put in uh, like a, a snow shovel or like emergency avalanche shovel or ice axe or whatever. Um, you put that stuff in there if you want. It also has another pocket in the, in the, I don't know, front of the front pocket, this here, this mesh pocket. And you can see I still have stuff in here, you know, trail mix, this and that, bear spray. Like I just pack stuff in here. And so this is the, this is the pocket that will drain. 
So if you do need to like put wet clothes in here, it will drain out of the bottom. Um, yeah, the only other thing about this bag that I probably mention, so the zippers are incredible. They don't get stuck on anything except this one buckle drives the heck out of me. This one strap, I'm tempted to just cut it off because I don't really um, use a rope too often because this is the rope, the rope buckle. If this is dangling down all the time and you go to pull this shut, it always gets tangled in this rope, this, this uh, strap, this buckle. So that's the only thing I don't, I don't know, it's one of the big griefs of this bag. This thing drives me nuts, is this one little bit. Other than that, like it's solid. It's a really solid bag. Like I've, I mean, I use it in every video as you can see. And um, the only other thing I have to talk about is the, the pockets. So the pockets on this bag are incredible. They really are. These, these hip pockets are large. Let's see if I can puff that out for you here. There's one on either side. I can fit a Sony RX100 in this, which is a kind of point and shoot camera, as well as numerous other different types of cameras. Uh, obviously most people put snacks and stuff in there. They'll put uh, cameras in their pockets, but yeah, I'm a big fan. I need hip pockets whenever I go hiking. These are fantastic. And also the, um, the straps, I didn't really mention, but they're nicely cushioned. They're very comfortable. They fit well with the load lifters. You can get it really nice and positioned there. And the hip belt is very like, you can see it's wide. It grabs you. It's got a great buckle. You can see it's nice and thick and sturdy. No messing around here. So yeah, I'm a big fan of this bag. I definitely give this a big thumbs up. I've been using it for a while now. Multiple different hikes. Yeah, aside from those few things, the rope strap and the, the weight of the bag, this is a definite big thumbs up, especially if you're into ski touring. And if you go for a smaller bag, you'll definitely have a lighter weight, whether it's the Camber 32 or 22 or whatever, then you're just sacrificing features because those ones are obviously smaller bags. But yeah, if you're definitely ski touring, going anywhere in the winter, um, this is a fantastic bag. And I mean, I used it all throughout summer and it was just fine as well. So that's my review of this bag. Hopefully you enjoyed it. You got some value out of this and it potentially answered some questions for you. Be sure to subscribe for more reviews and hiking videos, adventure videos. If you got value from this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button so that it gets shared out to more people and subscribe. And uh, for more adventure and review videos. Until next one, have a good one.